Hi guys, welcome to my channel! At last I woke up from hibernation and started to travel. And today I'm exploring Pilatus and Lucerne. In this video I'm going to cover how to get there, how much does it cost and what's interesting to see. So let's explore it with me! First I'll tell you how to get to Lucerne from Zurich. The earlier you plan the trip, the cheaper you can buy tickets. Trips in the morning are usually cheaper and with fewer people. Full price in one direction would be from 16 to 25 francs for one person. The ticket just in one direction is cheaper, but you need to take the bus train at exactly the time specified in the ticket. If you want more flexibility, you can get the day ticket, which will cost around 50 francs per person. Lucerne is a beautiful city standing on the lake and surrounded by mountains. It's so cool to walk in the center and have the opportunity to see Pilatus or other mountain ranges in the background. Lake Lucerne, often called the heart of Switzerland because of its central position, is the fourth largest lake in the country. Once you arrive at the main train station in Lucerne, you are already in the center of the old city and you are close to all main attractions. Let's start the journey with the Chapel Bridge. It is the oldest covered bridge in Europe. Other than that, it's the longest and oldest surviving bridge in Europe. It is really wooden and it was damaged during some fires, but it was cautiously renovated and preserves all its ancient vibe. The Lucerne bridges are famous for their paintings under the roof. In the chapel bridge you can find pictures telling the story about the history of the city and memoirs of the city patrons. These paintings were created during the Counter-Reformation, featuring scenes promoting the Catholic Church. The tower on the chapel bridge was used as an archive on several occasions from the 14th century, and sometimes even as a prison. Interestingly, the tower was built even before the bridge. Walking along the river you could see another covered bridge. It is also wooden and built almost at the same time as the previous bridge. The Sproy bridge boasts a striking series of paintings. Painted by Kaspar Meglinger in the 17th century, they were impressive witness to a subject matter that was much in vogue in the Middle Ages – the dance of death. The pictures remind the viewer that death is ubiquitous and comes to everyone, regardless of one station in life. A further eye-catching feature of the Sproyer Bridge is a chapel incorporated into it and containing motifs and figures from the cycle of the ecclesiastical year. There is also a nice place here on the square with restaurants and shops, so you definitely will find something interesting to do here. The main attraction of Lucerne, which I wanted to visit, is Pilatus. To get there from Lucerne center, you can by taking a bus and stopping at Green's Centrum Pilatus. Then you have a 10 minutes walk till the first point of the cable car. There are several stops till Pilatus. We explored Fragment Tech and Pilatus Kulm itself. The return ticket to Pilatus Kulm is 33 francs. If you want to go only to Fragment Tech, it would cost 20 francs. For sure, you can take a walking trip. According to Google, you can get to the highest point within 5 hours. But this would require a lot of effort, I guess. So we chose to use the cable car. The cable car going till Fragment Tech is a small cabin, where you can go in a private atmosphere from 1 to 6 people. Fragment Tech is located at the height of around 1500 meters above sea level. From this point you already can have a good mountain view. The mountain Pilatus looks so gorgeous. There are enough facilities to have some fun here. There are several benches to sit and enjoy the beauty of nature. You can have a meal or a drink at the restaurant. There are places both inside and outside. In case of good weather, sitting outside with the mountain view is the best background for having lunch. I took a cacao there and it cost 4 francs 40 cents. If you like having sport related activities, there is an adventure rope park for the whole family. In March it's still closed, but it works from the end of April till the end of October. The ticket price for 3 hours is 28 francs for an adult and 21 francs for a child. But there are family tickets which are a bit cheaper. Now let's reach the final destination, Pilatus Kulm. Every 15 minutes the cable car goes to this point from Fragment Tech. Now the cabin is big and there will be a lot of people in the cabin together with you. 
Pilatus Culum is situated at the height of about 2100 meters. The name of the mountain can remind of Pontius Pilate, a Roman governor. According to some legends, this mountain was named after him, because his dead body was discarded into a lake from it and it therefore is apparently haunted. But the more realistic explanation for this name is that it was borrowed from the Latin term Piliatus, meaning cloud capped. Another legend is connected with the Pilatus symbol. It was believed in the Middle Ages that the dragons with healing powers lived on the summit. Respecting these interesting beliefs, the dragon has become a recognizable symbol of Pilatus. From this height you can enjoy an amazing view of the city, the lake and other mountains. There are even more food facilities here, so that you could enjoy eating with a fabulous view. There is even a hotel, so you can stay here overnight. If you enjoy watching the stars, there is an astronomy station, which suggests astronomy excursions with overnight and starry skies. So there are plenty of things to do, but even just seeing these breathtaking views is enough for excitement. This is the last point of our journey today. Have you been to Pilatus and Lucerne? What are your impressions? Leave your comments below. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the button like.